at the University of Minnesota's St. Anthony Falls Laboratory, headquarters of the National Center for Earth Surface Dynamics. The team demonstrates how a strike to the front of the head can cause damage to the back of the head using a basketball and a racquetball. The force is transferred from one side of an orb to the other. Just like in a car crash, it is this effect that sends the racquetball flying. This phenomenon is called antipodal focusing. At the St. Anthony Falls lab in Minneapolis, the Earth Sciences team now demonstrates this unique feature of impact craters using a landscape of tiny crystals and high-speed photography. The impact strikes, and as expected, a shower of debris radiates outward. But a split second later, it's followed by something that is usually overlooked. A secondary explosive column caused by the force of the projectile penetrating deep into the Earth. It leaves a distinct imprint, a raised mound at the center of the crater. This is the mascon, and it shows up clearly on gravity maps. This mid-crater lump is one of the telltale signs that convinces Becker she has found evidence of the meteor that led to the age of the dinosaurs. When we superimpose our mascon over the gravity images of the Bedu crater, the similarity is startling. At the lab, the Earth Sciences team demonstrates how precise an antipodal point can be. Just as seismic forces travel through the Earth following a meteor impact, they simultaneously travel over its surface. Imagine a meteor impact. Waves would then travel around the globe, and their crests would meet at the opposite side. In this demonstration, the point of convergence is within half an inch. On our planet, this antipodal point would be within a radius of three and a half miles.